Tonight we are continuing our coverage on Black History Month. Marcel joins us live from Opelousas with tonight's story, Marcel. Jim, I'm here at the Opelousas Creole Heritage and Folk Life Center, and every artifact in this building is a reflection of black culture. But its founder says the preservation of black culture in its simplest form starts with a conversation. You must create memories with your children. And must tell stories. That's right. Rebecca Henry is the curator of the Creole Heritage Folk Life Center in Opelousas. And she, as she says, is a master of blackness. It was something that had to be in right. order for history to be the way it is, but it's American history. It absolutely is. You know, and I'm black every day. I'm not just black in February. She says conversation is key in preserving black culture. You know, because I think we need to embrace our ancestors. Just take a pad of paper and go and interview your grandmother your grandfather, your nana, and your uncle. Since arrival in America, blacks have historically been stripped of their origins and identity, from native language to religion to how they were called. You know, we were slaves, then we were Negroes, then we were colored, then we was uh, black, and then we were uh, Creole of color, then we was uh, Creole de couleur, and then we was uh, God knows what else and all the derogatory was. So we have had more names than any culture in this world. From names to food. We lose that, that taste of our, you know, our food is, is uh, watered down because it's been shared with what they haven't taken from us. We've uh, voluntarily gave it, you know, mm -hmm. to be a part of. To even medicine. Okra flowers for if you had a boil. You had spider webs and sugar, mm -hmm. and the famous mongrier that everybody's running wild about now. All of this comes from what? All this comes from the earth. Henry is a master apprentice of folk medicine. This is the mamo root. So you have to know what you're looking for, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Anything used out of moderation is toxic. I'm gonna tell you now, you know? Taking what grows naturally and using it as a treatment. You use this dirt dauber. If your baby have diaper rash, you just pound it up, put it on the baby. She says learning these remedies wasn't an option as generations of blacks, especially in rural areas, had no choice other than to use what was there for healing. If you wasn't brought up and go and pick it and get it when your mom said go get the sheep tea, mm -hmm. you had to know in the, in the woods or in the grass mm -hmm. what, what that looked like and what it looked just like. Just like with Manglier. She learned in the stories and rituals that were passed down to her as a child growing up in rural St. Landry Parish. Some of these remedies, she says, are authentic to black culture, and black creators are left without any credit. They're seeking it out now. So you're going to have to pay for it now, you know. But it, it, it's, it's our culture. The medicine was for our culture. So what are we going to hold on to? Nothing. What are we going to get credit for? Nothing. We need to uh, give credit to where you got what you got from. If you used my grandmother's recipe, then you could at least put her name and say you got it from Mrs. So-and-so. Henry is also a master craftsperson. Of her many creations, dolls were among the first because she wanted to change the narrative of black images. Because I felt that to be depicted in dolls as crows and monkeys and pickaninnies and pickaninnies. And I decided that I wanted to, to construct a doll that was going to depict a black child. And despite it all, I am optimistic about the things that's going to happen. We the only ones can say how we live and we know how we live. We should not have to teach a person how to treat us that you got to go to some diversity class to teach you how to, that's supposed to be, how you're supposed to treat a human being anyway, because you have to take you with you wherever you go. Mm -hmm. Wherever you go, you have to take yourself. So you have to change you, mm -hmm. love you, and love everyone, because love is what it is. So Ms. Henry was gracious enough to come and open up the center so that we could be here for this live shot. If you want to come by and tour the place, it's absolutely wonderful to see you. She will give you a tour herself and people can contact you to come win. Sure. From Tuesday, from 12 to 4, 
up until Friday, Saturday and Sunday special tours. Special tours special on weekends tours. as Every well. Every artifact in here has a story. Everything has a story. Live in Opelousas, I'm Marcel Fauna. We'll be back with more after the break.